welcome, my friend. Hey everybody, I hope you're all having a great day. Before we get started, I need to say that the recent winner of the Force FX Elite Lightsaber giveaway, Whirlwind Saber, hasn't responded in over a month. To that end, I spun the wheel yesterday to choose a new winner. Congratulations to the new winner of the Force FX Elite Lightsaber giveaway, Ryan Bergman. To claim your lightsaber, either shoot me a message on Instagram or shoot me an email. Confirm that you're the actual winner and the lightsaber is yours. Don't worry guys, the giveaway is ongoing. Since the Ahsoka series is finally here, I wanted to give away her Force FX Elite Lightsaber. If you would like a chance to win one, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, and drop a comment below. After Ahsoka was proven innocent of bombing the Jedi Temple in the Clone Wars, the Jedi Order gave her the opportunity to return as a Jedi Knight. She of course refused and walked away. The rest is history. But what if Ahsoka was consumed by a deep hatred and resentment of the Jedi, to the point where she'd fall to the dark side? Let's dive into that. After leaving the Jedi Temple, Ahsoka found herself adrift in a galaxy plagued by war. Feeling betrayed and abandoned, she wandered the Outer Rim trying to make sense of her place in the universe. A chance encounter with a group of smugglers exposed her to the harsh realities of the galaxy's underbelly. Drawn to their resourcefulness and sense of freedom, Ahsoka started to question the rigid dogma of the Jedi. She was tempted by the allure of power and control, elements she had once shunned. On a remote planet, Ahsoka stumbled upon an ancient Sith artifact buried beneath the sands. This artifact, a holocron, whispered promises of strength and purpose. Consumed by anger and confusion, she activated it, opening a doorway to the dark side. Guided by the holocron's insidious teachings, Ahsoka began to embrace her inner darkness. Right beside the holocron were two lightsabers. She activated the crimson blades, a symbol of her newfound allegiance. Ahsoka, now cut off from the Jedi and the light side, forged a new identity, Darth Caligo. Embracing her new identity as Darth Caligo, Ahsoka forged alliances with rogue Sith and criminal syndicates, amassing a formidable following. Her charisma and strategic acumen made her a respected and feared figure within the shadows. Darth Caligo's influence spread like wildfire. As factions rallied under her banner, the balance of power in the galaxy shifted. Palpatine, sensing a rival to his own ambitions, attempted to manipulate Caligo into becoming his pawn. However, her independence and desire for true power led her to resist his control. With a cunning blend of diplomacy and ruthlessness, Caligo manipulated conflicts to her advantage. Her mastery of the dark side allowed her to orchestrate grand schemes from the shadows, leaving her enemies in disarray. Her reputation grew as a force to be reckoned with, and tales of her exploits spread through hush whispers. Anakin Skywalker, now Darth Vader, sensed the resurgence of a familiar presence in the Force. Unbeknownst to him, his former Padawan had fallen to the dark side. Drawn by an irresistible connection, Caligo and Vader found themselves face to face, memories of their shared past fueling the intensity of their confrontation. The duel that ensued was a symphony of power and emotion. Lightsabers clashed, each stroke echoing the bitterness of their fractured bond. Yet. Beneath the veneer of hatred, hints of their past camaraderie resurfaced, casting shadows of doubt on Caligo's convictions. As Darth Caligo's grip on the galaxy tightened, a small but determined group of Jedi survivors emerged from the shadows. Led by Kanan Jarrus and Ezra Bridger, they embarked on a perilous journey to bring Ahsoka back to the light. Their journey took them to old temples and hidden sanctuaries, where they encountered allies who had long abandoned the Jedi path. The confrontation between Darth Caligo and the Jedi rebels culminated on the desolate planet of Malachor, a world shrouded in dark history. As lightsabers ignited and the force roared, Ahsoka's internal struggle intensified. The memories of her time as a Jedi, the camaraderie she once shared with Anakin, clashed with the seductive promises of the dark side. Ahsoka Tano stood on the precipice, 
teetering between the light and the darkness as the Jedi rebels confronted her on Malachor. Her inner turmoil raged as the memories of her past clashed with the seductive whispers of the Sith holocron. Despite Kanan and Ezra's earnest pleas, Ahsoka's resolve hardened. She had tasted power beyond imagination, and she was determined to wield it. The clash of lightsabers echoed across the desolate landscape. Kanan and Ezra fought valiantly, driven by a desperate hope to save their friend. Their scales were formidable, but Ahsoka's command of the dark side granted her an advantage that sent ripples of unease through their ranks. Ahsoka's crimson blades danced with deadly precision, and her mastery of the dark side's manipulative arts allowed her to exploit their doubts and vulnerabilities. With a calculated strike, Ahsoka disarmed Kanan, sending his lightsaber spinning out of reach. As Kanan fell to his knees, defeated and wounded, Ezra's heart sank. He redoubled his efforts, the weight of their shared mission fueling his determination. Yet, Ahsoka's dark power seemed inexhaustible, and her cold <laughs> laughter pierced the air. In a final, devastating confrontation, Ahsoka overwhelmed Ezra's defenses, her malevolent energy pulsating through every strike. He fought valiantly, but his wavering resolve proved to be his downfall. Ahsoka's crimson blades found their mark, and Ezra collapsed to the ground, defeated and broken. The chilling victory reverberated through Ahsoka, solidifying her embrace of the dark side. As she stood amidst the fallen Jedi rebels, her eyes glowed with an unholy fire. She had proven herself stronger than their ideals, their principles shattered by her power. The galaxy trembled under the weight of her dominance. With her enemies defeated, Ahsoka's influence expanded unchecked. Her mastery of the dark side grew more potent with each passing day as she manipulated events from the shadows. There was just one last loose end. Vader and Palpatine. She would confront them both. Beside her were her loyal acolytes, disciples who had embraced the power of the dark side and rallied under her banner. The battle raged on, a tempest of lightsabers, force lightning, and unfathomable power. Ahsoka's acolytes, each a master of their own unique abilities, unleashed their combined might against Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine. The very fabric of the Force quivered under the weight of their clash. Ahsoka herself faced her former master, Darth Vader, her eyes reflecting the turbulent emotions swirling within her. Their duel was a symphony of raw power and tangled destinies. The resonance of their lightsabers seemed to echo the choices that had led them down their divergent paths. With calculated precision, Ahsoka's acolytes surged forward, joining the assault on Palpatine. Their coordinated efforts channeled the dark side in ways that were as awe-inspiring as they were terrifying. Palpatine's laughter filled the air, but his overconfidence was swiftly eroded by the relentless onslaught of Ahsoka's disciples. Their mastery of the dark side, now a roaring inferno, unleashed a torrent of power against Palpatine. The Emperor's formidable defenses began to crumble under their overwhelming assault. With a defiant roar, he hurled most of his potent dark energy at them, but the Acolytes, fueled by their devotion to Ahsoka, stood strong. Then all of the Acolytes used the force to push Palpatine off the ledge. After Palpatine's defeat, Ahsoka disarmed Vader, his red lightsaber tumbling from his grasp. She held her own blade at his throat, the tension in the air palpable. She would then strike down her former master. With the dark side's dominance secured, the galaxy bowed to her will. Her rule became a reign of unchallenged power, a realm where those who dared oppose her were swiftly crushed beneath her formidable might. As Ahsoka's acolytes enforced her rule with an iron fist, the galaxy entered an era of darkness and submission. The Sith doctrine flourished, and the memory of the Jedi faded away. The echoes of hope were silenced, and the galaxy became a playground for the unrestrained ambitions of Ahsoka and her disciples. And that's where we're going to end the fanfic. Now this was a pretty good what if scenario to me, and if I'm being honest, ever since I saw Dark Ahsoka in the Mortis arc in the Clone Wars, it's really something I wanted to see more of in the future Star Wars media. But let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this story. If you've enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you're new, 
hit that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. And also tell me in the comments your thoughts on the new Ahsoka episode. Have a great day and may the force be with you.